traders, it's time for all you swingers out there. So grab your partner by the hand and let's take a look at the weekly forecast. Welcome to Simply Forex. If you want to improve as a trader, then you're definitely in the right place. Each week, I'm going to give you easy to follow trade ideas, tips and advice so you too can succeed at trading. And if you stay till the end of the vid, I'm going to give you all of my swing trades for the coming week. Um, and if that sounds like a plan, then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button, and please smash the like button, guys. Itchy nose. Um, let's get stuck straight in, guys, because we've got so many things we're going to take a look at today, right? And we're going to start with US dollar pairs, right? Now, I'm going to start on the monthly chart because we're in that uh, position, guys, where the weekly and the monthly chart finish at the same time, right? So we've got another piece of information, which is the monthly candle. And if you look at any of these US dollar pairs, right, they are pretty much all at monthly support or resistance, right? So this is New Zealand dollar, US dollar. This is the monthly chart. We're looking at the higher time frames because these are swing trades, guys, right? We could be in these a, a long time. And as you can see, we're in an uptrend. We've got higher highs and these lows in here are holding, right? There's a big piece of support down here, okay? And at these lows, right, look at this big wick rejection that we've had, right? So this would suggest we've got some room to the upside and this is New Zealand dollar, US dollar, right? But this could be any of the US dollar pairs. So my bias would be to buy New Zealand dollar, US dollar, and this would suggest some US dollar weakness coming into the markets, right? And if we look at the weekly chart, all of the US dollar pairs finished with a very bearish or bullish candle, meaning US dollar weakness again. And as you can see here, guys, right, New Zealand dollar, US dollar, we're at this key support level, right? And we've got this large bullish weekly candle. Okay, guys. So yeah, um, US dollar weakness I'm seeing in the markets. However, right, it is against weekly trend. Okay, this is in a weekly downtrend. So it might want to come down before it comes back up. Okay, so please bear that in mind, guys. We are against the weekly trend. Now, at least we would want to be with the daily trend. And again, if we drop down to the daily trend, then we are still in a downtrend, right? We are literally at the last highs. Okay, so this would suggest again that we're going to have, you know, a bit of dollar strength, perhaps before we see some dollar weakness. Okay, but yeah, because of that monthly chart, because of those weekly candles, I'm seeing US dollar weakness creep into the markets. And if we look at, take a look at another US dollar pair, if we look at pound US dollar, for example, let's start on the monthly. Again, look at that monthly chart. That is a really nice bullish chart. Okay, we're in an uptrend. Okay, price has retraced all the way to the moving average 20. Look at that, which we know is... Uh, dynamic support or resistance and it's support in this case we've got that nice bullish wick okay and again that would suggest us dollar weakness right potentially all the way back up to here um so there's the monthly chart if we look at the weekly again like all us dollar pairs we've had a real bullish or bearish depending on the pair uh candle guys right and that would suggest again that we have some room to the upside and it my target would be here okay because we are in a weekly downtrend and that is the last piece of support and therefore that will become our target and our resistance um, and pound US dollar, interestingly, is one of the US dollar pairs where daily structure has just broke, right? So if we follow day trend, okay, we have literally just broken this last high with this candle here. However, it is literally straight into the moving average 20. So again, you know, my view is you know, weakness in the dollar, but we might see something like this, a bit of a 
retrace into here before price comes higher. Okay, so that's the US dollar pairs and that's the general picture of US dollar. Um, and the other pairs I want to look at is yen pairs, right? So pretty much yen strength has stormed the building, right? Yen is super strong. Um, and if we look at any yen pair, it is a sell trade, right? Um, let's start with the monthly chart. And again, the monthly is in an uptrend, right? It is. Okay, so we were in an uptrend, right? This level through here was holding. We're getting higher highs. We're in an uptrend. But then, you know, look at that monthly candle. Again, we've got the luxury of the monthly candle finishing at the end of last week, right? So we've got this monthly candle that we can use for information as well. And that is suggesting we can come lower, right? It doesn't get much more bearish than that. Mind you, that is pretty bearish. But yeah, in comparison to the previous, you know, one, two, three candles, that is pretty bearish candle. And if we drop down to the weekly chart, we have had a weekly structure break and a breakout of consolidation uh, looking at this pair. So if we look at the weekly chart, we was in this downtrend, price has come up and then just absolute consolidation. Right, that's consolidation. These are weeks for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, almost two months, guys. This has been consolidating. And then bang, we get that candle. And again, it doesn't get much more bearish than that. There's no bottom wick, super bearish body, right? <laughs> yeah, super bearish body. Um, and I would suggest we can carry on this selling momentum all the way back down to these lows in here. And this 95.50 level on Aussie dollar yen. Now, again, guys, if you looked at any yen pair, it's pretty much the same story. Okay, so let's take a look at Euro yen. We take a look at the monthly. And, you know, what a difference a month can make, right? Let's start with the monthly chart, Euro yen, right? We've got this nice big bullish candle in a monthly uptrend, bouncing off this level, we're above the moving average 20. Everything was telling us this yen weakness, which we've seen for so long, is continuing, right? But then, in the words of Batman, kapow. Yeah, look at that candle, right? A complete, you know, complete turnaround, right? Bears and sellers are in this market now. So a very bearish monthly candle with a bit of room to move into. If we look at the weekly candle, again, right, I would say we've had a structure break. Weekly was in this uptrend and then bang, we're now in a downtrend, firmly below the moving average 20, in a downtrend with room to move into and a super bearish candle right there. All right, so yen pairs, yen strength to continue. That would be uh, the uh, litmus for our trades this week and US dollar weakness would also be uh, of interest this week as well. Now we're going to move on to some trade ideas, right? These are more specific trade ideas as well, okay? So um, guys, if you're enjoying the analysis, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button and smash the like button. Also guys, please don't forget to leave a comment, yeah? Let us know which trade you like, let us know what trade you're in or any insight that you would like to share. Please leave a message below the vid. And also guys, if you haven't already, please come join our trading community, right? It is free. We have a free Discord channel. Come in, sign up, right? Just verify yourself, you're in. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your arm. Um, right, the next trade we're looking at is Swiss franc pairs, right? I said we've got a lot to get through today, and we have. Now, let's start with Canadian. Let's start with Aussie dollar Swiss franc, right? It's at the top. And again, we're going to start with the weekly chart. We're looking at the weekly chart, guys, because these are swing trades, right? We're going to, if you take these trades, we'll be in them for a long time. And as you can see here, we are seeing an ascending triangle, right? That's the shape, yeah? We've got this through here and then this line coming up here, right? So that is an ascending triangle. That is a chart pattern, an ascending triangle suggests like the name uh, that it will ascend okay and potentially we'll get a break through this level 
with a room to the upside, right? However, you know, price can do this and break out of this triangle to the downside, right? It can. So this is what we're seeing in terms of a chart pattern. But at the moment, guys, this is still a buy trade, right? We're in a uptrend, okay? We're in this ascending triangle. We're at the bottom here, yeah, where there's some good support in here as well. Admittedly, this candle isn't super bullish, far from it, but we do have some rejection here. And the idea is just take it back to the top of this ascending triangle. If we take a quick look at the day chart, you can see we've got this, this bullish candle bouncing off that level. And you can clearly see this nice support level through here as well. So on the day chart, we'd be looking to take price back up to here. All right. And this Swiss franc weakness or potential weakness is what we're seeing in a few pairs. So Canadian dollar Swiss franc. I also like this for a swing trade. Again, if we track structure and trend, we was in a downtrend, right? And then price just consolidated. Okay. And then bang, we broke out of this consolidation. This nice big bullish candle, right? Told us that buyers had won the battle, broke out of this level. And the idea was to take it back up to here. And it still is, right? This is still our target. Now, again, yeah, like with Aussie dollar, Swiss franc, I know we've had this bearish candle, right? But it never broke the low of this daily candle, right? It held, okay? It's still above the moving average 20. And again, if we look at the day chart, right? We are holding on to this daily structure, okay? So weekly and daily are in the same trend, right? Both uptrends. And this level through here is still holding, right? And look at these wicks we're seeing here, right? So my, um, yeah, because of these wicks, because of daily and weekly trend, I still think we have room to the upside, you know, if not further on the weekly chart. So Canadian dollar Swiss franc buys also. And there's another Swiss franc pair. Okay, let's have a look at pound Swiss franc. And if I sound slightly like Barry White today, I think I've got another illness from my daughter, which is wonderful. Um, also, guys, the editor was showing me that there is a swingers, for all you swingers out there, there is a swingers festival in the UK, and it's the biggest swingers festival ever. And I don't think it's swingers as in let's all sit around and talk about, you know, Canadian dollar Swiss franc weekly chart. I think it's the other swing type thing. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd share that with you in case you're interested. Check it out. Um, I digress. Where were we? Right. Pound Swiss franc. Again, let's look at the weekly chart, right? And we are in an uptrend. Okay. Weekly chart. You can clearly see we're in an uptrend. And then we've just been ranging really. Okay. Consolidation. We're in a range, but it's a range stroke uptrend. So if we're at the bottom of the range, it makes sense that we can take it to the top of the range. And that is the trade idea. Okay. Also, this level through here is holding. And just look at these wicks again. Look at those wicks, right? Lots of buying pressure to take this back up. And we're seeing some pound strength in the market. And we've got another couple of trades to, to highlight the pound strength as well. So, yeah. Weekly is looking good. If we look at the daily, all I'd be waiting for, guys, is a break of this level in here, right? So you can see that price is in a downtrend. Again, it's kind of been ranging here, right? And all I'd want to see is a break of this level. If we get a nice daily candle, maybe look something like this, break through this level, bit of a retrace, we can take price back up to here. All right, so pound Swiss franc buys. I told you there's lots of trades, lots of information this week, guys. So stay tuned. I've still got lots of trade ideas. Uh, maybe it's a pair you're looking at. And again, leave a comment. Let us know. Um, what else are we looking at? Yeah, so pound strength, guys. Let's focus on that now. So let's go to pound New Zealand dollar. Uh, let's start with the weekly chart, right? And you can see we are in an uptrend. 
Okay, we're getting higher lows. Potentially, this is the new low, higher highs, right? And the idea would be to come back up to these last highs here, right? Um, you can see we're nicely tracking the moving average 20. Look how nicely the moving average 20 acts as dynamic support or resistance, right? It just does. And we've got a nice, I know this is a doji. This is a doji candle for sure. Um, but, you know, we've had a rejection at the bottom of this level. And because this is a doji, that does suggest a little indecision, right? So if we go to the day chart, to put your mind at rest with that indecision, let's wait for a daily structure break. Okay, we're here. And then look at that price action. We're seeing this a lot on charts, right? We're seeing a lot of consolidation. And all we want to see is a break of this consolidation. So if we get a candle that breaks through these highs, I will be buying this back up to here. All right, so pound New Zealand dollar buys. And we also like, what was the other one? Pound Aussie dollar buys. Again, let's start with the weekly chart. And this is a bit of a trend line through here, right? Excuse my pen, it's not easy to write with a mouse pen, especially when you've been drinking. Um, so we're, we're tracking this trend line, right? Price keeps respecting this level. Okay, so we're at good support. And not only the trend line support, but this level through here has proven to be good support as well. And if we look at the weekly chart, we're in a range, really. Yeah, price is just coming from here to here to here to here, right? We're just trading from here to here. And we've had a nice big bullish candle form yesterday. So the idea would just be to come back up to the top of this range. Okay. Um, and with the day chart on here, it is in an uptrend, right? This candle right here just broke that high. We're in an uptrend. Okay, so pound Aussie dollar buys. Um, what else are we looking at? So, okay, let's take a quick look at gold because we spoke about um, US dollar weakness, right? Potentially in the market and gold would support this idea, right? Gold is just, you know, it, it, I, I can't remember the last time gold hasn't been a buying opportunity, right? Everyone's just buying gold really, right? So again, if we follow the weekly chart, yeah, right. No brainer, right? It's at the moving average 20. We've got this huge bullish weekly candle, right? And then last week's candle, we've got a bit of a wick rejection there as well. So it just suggests taking price back up to these highs. And if we look at the monthly chart, I want to look at the monthly chart here because, again, we've got this nice bullish wick which again would suggest we can come back up to here. But it's worth pointing out on gold. Look at look at the moving average 20, right? This is the average. This is the mean of the market. And look how far price is away from there. So, you know, at some point, gold's going to need a large, uh, a large correction, right? Is it now looking at the charts? No, it's not now, right? And it would be, you know, I would buy gold. But... You know, it's going to have a correction at some point. Um, but this week, I still think it's a firm buy, potentially back up to here. Daily's a little bit trickier, though, guys, right? It's, I would like to see a break of this level, right? Perhaps price does this, and then we get a break, right? And then we can continue with gold buys. Um, there's more. There's two more trades, guys. Two more trades to go, and they are Canadian dollar pairs. The first one is Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. Um, again, if we look at the monthly chart here, right, and that monthly chart is crying out for a buy. Yeah, we're in this uptrend. Sorry, guys, the sun's coming out. You can barely see me. Let me let me apply some light here. Um, not that you want to see me anyway. Now that's too bright. There we go. Right, we're in an uptrend. Okay, you can see that on the monthly chart. Okay, clearly in an uptrend. And at the bottom of this uptrend, you can see we've got this, this channel, this trend line, right? Where the market has been respecting. And at that level, we've got a nice wick rejection, right? Again, don't get me wrong, this is a doji candle, okay? but there's still a rejection of this level through here. Um, if we look at the weekly chart, 
right? You can see that level I'm talking about through here, right? Price has been respecting it and we've got a bit of a bounce off, okay? Now, my first target would be back up to here, if not all the way back up to these highs here. So this 9,250 would be the target. And because of that doji candle, on the day chart, I want to see a break of structure. And, a, and again, guys, like how many times have I said this? It's just consolidation. The market is really in a yeah consolidation phase, right? Is it risk on? Is it risk off? Are the indices going to continue to rise? Is a, is the recession coming? You know, there's so many unanswered questions. And it, it's you can feel it in the markets, right? So what I'd want to see is a break of this consolidation. Okay, if we get a nice big bullish candle that breaks through this level, okay, I would be looking to buy Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar up to here, if not further. Um, and again, the next Canadian dollar pair is New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. Um, again, if we start with the monthly chart, it's a very similar trade. Obviously, Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar and New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar are highly correlated. And you can just see it in the monthly chart. It's pretty much the same trade, right? We're in this channel, this uptrend channel. This is more definitive. Look at that wick rejection. That is not a doji. That is a bullish candle, right? And we've had a nice rejection at this level. And just looking at the monthly, it would suggest we can come back up to these highs, right? Um, drop down to the weekly chart. It is in a weekly downtrend. No ifs and buts, right? It is. Okay, we can see this is in a downtrend, right? So at the very least, guys, I want to see a daily structure break. So if we drop to the day chart, the daily hasn't quite broken. So this is the last daily high here, okay? And then if we go back up, you can see this wick just holds on to that high. And therefore, this becomes the new level to break, this last high. And this candle hasn't quite broken that level. So I just want to see a clear breakout of this grey zone. Okay, and then I think New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar could be a good buying opportunity as well. And guys, that is all of my trade ideas for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button and smash the like button. Join us for the live streams this week. Check out all the other vids on YouTube and I will see you soon.